Uh, by way of background, uh, for those who haven't walked through this before, uh, in 1995, uh, Congress, uh, desiring to encourage bidding on leases uh, in certain deep water areas of the Gulf of Mexico, provided relief from the normal applicable royalties payable, payable to the United States. Um, and what we found in the course of this, it worked, people bid on the leases, they went in, but we found out that there was no provision for eliminating the royalty exemption if the market price of oil rose back up to reasonable levels. Um, according to some accounts, this omission uh, might have been an administrative error. What we have found about the mismanagement of the minerals management services, people literally in bed with the people that they were supposed to regulate, uh, it may not have been an administrative oversight, but whatever, it was wrong, it shouldn't have been there. Now, as a result, they are now with oil up $100 a barrel and uh, higher, are pumping this oil without paying anything to the federal government, far beyond what was ever contemplated. Now, my amendment is simple. It gives these companies a choice. They can either renegotiate and ex execute leases for this oil. That would, the, uh, obviously, the intent, there's never any intent to make this permanent uh, for, uh, on an ongoing basis, pay reasonable royalties to the United States, especially since a number of these companies are foreign companies, uh, state-owned enterprises, uh, or uh, they simply wouldn't be able to bid for new leases. Their choice, no coercion, but the taxpayers stand to benefit $15.5 billion over the next 10 years, and in fact, over the life of these leases, uh, up to uh, $31 billion or more. I respectfully suggest it's time Chairman to Thomas approve expired. this amendment.